With only 5% of the oceans explored, there are many new things we're gonna see as we become more capable of descending to the darkest depths of the Earth's oceans to see what's down there. In recent years, some incredible footage of rare and strange creatures has started to be found as remotely controlled vehicles are able to go places that humans are unable to reach. The creatures that show up on camera are nothing short of incredible, and many of these strange things even resemble aliens. Check out these five strangest things caught at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number five, the Barrel Eye Fish. Probably one of the most surprising things caught in the deep of the Marianas Trench is the barrel eye fish, or spook fish. Researchers have known about this elusive animal since the 1930s, but there was no way to capture the fish or get a good look at it until now, thanks to technology. This fish has been found in the depths of the Atlantic, Pacific, the Indian Oceans, and the Marianas Trench, and was only documented in 2004. For the first time, the animal was caught on camera using a remotely controlled deep sea vehicle. This bottom of the ocean dweller is unlike any other fish you will see. That's because the fish has a dome-shaped head that is transparent. Some deep sea fish have adapted to their pitch black environment in some really unusual ways. The spook fish has two barrel-shaped tubular eyes that you can see move around inside the transparent head of the fish as it looks around. If it wasn't for the fact that this creature really exists, many people would be calling fancy CGI, but this is how the fish has evolved to survive. The two eyes are colored green by a layer of fluid which filters light from above. This gives a little bit of illumination of the fish's prey, which usually ends up being jellyfish at this depth. And what looks like eyes on the fish are actually nostrils. The fish spends most of its time motionless to save energy. When the fish smells or spots prey, it maneuvers its tubular eyes forward and then strikes upwards and swallows its prey whole inside of its toothless mouth. The fish's eyes can rotate within the transparent shield, and the fish can look upwards through its transparent head, and then move its eyes directly at its prey, and then strike. That's some creepy stuff. Scientists also believe that the fish is an opportunistic hunter, and that it scavenges tiny crustaceans and other jellies from the food-collecting limbs of giant jellyfish called siphonophores, which can reach up to 130 feet in length. Anyone can agree it's always better when someone catches dinner for you, but despite this, the barrel eye fish seems to have evolved rather well. However, it could probably not survive very well out of this deep sea habitat, as it's a very fragile fish. Number 4. The Dumbo Octopus This is another deep sea dwelling creature that's been going about its business unsuspected and undetected for maybe millions of years. That is, until we came along with our fancy remote-controlled deep-sea submersibles and started to have a look around. The Dumbo Octopus, or Grimpotethus, is another deep-water-dwelling animal and, in fact, is the world's deepest-dwelling octopus. Some of you probably know the name Dumbo, that Disney story about a baby elephant with big ears. Well, that's how this octopus got its name. It has little, floppy, ear-like fins which come from the top of its head. This cute little orange critter lives at depths of 9,800 to 13,000 feet below the surface. Because the species is newly discovered, there isn't much known about them, but they're thought to grow from 8 to 12 inches in length. These cute but strange-looking octopi are actually fierce predators and have varied tastes when it comes to their prey. Their favorites are copepods, isopods, bristle worms, and some amphipods. The interesting thing about the normal octopus is that they tear and shred their meals, but the Dumbo octopus swallows its prey whole. Those weird fins on the side of its head where it gets its name aren't actually ears at all, but instead specialized flippers which it uses to guide itself through the water. They're also great at camouflaging themselves and can be red, white, brown, and even pink. They can flush their color, however, and change it to match the color of the ocean floor. The Dumbo octopus actually has big scary eyes, but as with any creature that lives at this depth, eyes have their limited use in the dark, inky blackness of the depths. In fact, in some species, the eyes lack lenses and have a degraded retina, which would only allow the animal to detect light and dark and some movement. This animal's also different in that, like other octopi, it doesn't have or is able to produce ink as a defense mechanism. This octopus cannot survive in any other temperature, pressure, or lighting conditions besides those found in the Marianas Trench. 
That means that the only way you'll be able to see this animal is like this and in future expeditions to the ocean floor. Number 3. The Ghost Fish In 2014, a new species of fish was discovered at the bottom of the Marianas Trench and was filmed for the first time. No one believed that a fish like this could live in such deep and cold waters. The ghost fish is also known as a snailfish and are known as deep sea dwellers and can be found living mostly in deep sea trenches. These weird looking creatures are almost transparent because there isn't any need for the fish to have a pigment in its skin at this depth. They usually resemble an overgrown tadpole that has an oversized head and a streamlined body that's almost see-through. This is another deep sea animal that would never survive as its lack of body structure helps the fish withstand the trench's intense pressure. The atmospheric pressure at the bottom of the trench is 16,000 pounds per square inch, while the average atmospheric pressure on land is only 14.7 psi. The only way to study this fish is from the bottom of the ocean, as the fish wouldn't survive the atmospheric pressure on the surface any more than we would going down in the trench. There isn't much known about the fish because it's so rare. What is known is that it belongs to the snailfish species, but it has no name of its own, for now. That's why the fish is called the ghost fish, because it's obvious physical reasons. The fish is about 6 inches long and it has a cartoonish looking head with a body described best as similar to wet tissue paper. The fish are very delicate, with no bone structure. They also have unique wing-like fins which researchers say could be used to pick out food from the sandy ocean floor. The footage was very surprising for many researchers, and some of them said that the fish reminded them of Falcor the dragon from the never-ending story. We're not sure about that, but there could be a small resemblance. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. Ghost Octopus If you thought the ghost fish was cool, then you're about to love this translucent ghost octopus that was recently discovered in the trench by NOAA's remotely operated vehicle named Deep Discoverer. Most octopuses have pigment in their skin and come in an array of different colors, and even sometimes have bright colors such as the blue ringed octopus warning you that the creature's venomous. That's fine in a world where everything can see you, but at the bottom of the Marianas Trench, there's no need to have pigment because there's no light and nothing can see you. Well, almost nothing. With that said, the creatures down here more resemble ghosts than anything else. On February 27th, 2016, the NOAA Deep Discoverer found the little octopus, which was amazingly ghost-like and mysterious, calmly sitting on a rock. The remote-controlled vehicle was actually out to collect geological samples to match up an island to the ridge. It sounds like a pretty boring mission for some, but during the mission, the Discoverer found this small octopus sitting calmly and moving slowly backward on the sand. The ghost octopus had an amazing and unique appearance and was colorless and had thin, see-through skin. Once the crew operators of the remotely controlled vehicle tried to get closer to the octopus, they zoomed in on the creature and it started to slowly back away as if it felt the vibration of the vehicle or saw the light coming from it. It was an incredible capture of another rare Marianas Trench inhabitant. The appearance of this animal is much different from regular octopi, making this creature one of a kind. The creature wasn't very muscular, and it almost looked as thin and delicate as a jellyfish. Number 1. Goblin Shark The interesting thing about the sighting of this strange animal is that it was thought to be extinct. It turns out that the goblin shark is not extinct, and is as creepy as it looks with some hidden surprises that no other sharks have. Now that goblin sharks have been sighted again, they are known as a living fossil. It's estimated that the goblin shark has lived in the bottom of the Marianas Trench for millions of years unchanged and unevolved. Because the goblin shark lives in the dark ocean trenches, it has to rely on its elongated and flat snout which is covered with small sensors that are capable of picking up even the smallest of electrical currents. This electrical current alerts the shark to the movement and the presence of prey. They hunt in the most peculiar way by sweeping their snouts back and forth just a bit above the ocean floor. When they sense a meal, their jaw actually shoots out of its body to catch their prey. If you look at how the shark does this, it's a little unnerving. That's because it's the only creature able to do this. The biggest goblin sharks documented were almost 10 feet long but no one knows what the average size of the shark is because it's so rare. There also aren't very many goblin sharks thought to exist in the first place and it could actually be on their way out as far as extinction. The shark is quite scary looking and you can probably see where it got its name from. Its muscles are flabby and it 
doesn't have much of a skeleton aside from cartilage, and its skin has no pigment and is a thin, transparent sheath. Their slingshot jaws are fast flying open at 10 feet per second. However, the goblin shark only uses the teeth to grab onto and hold its prey as it swallows it whole. This shark has also been called a vampire shark, but it's not because of its scary teeth. It got its name from living in the complete darkness of the deep trench. An interesting thing is that its skin is so thin that the shark appears a pink to reddish color. Red looks black under the depths of the sea, and so the shark is well camouflaged. This allows the goblin shark to sneak up on its prey while it's swimming in plain sight. The shark is also accustomed to living in the darkest and deepest parts of the ocean, as two of them were caught and put in an aquarium, and neither one of them survived. Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers. If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. There will be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.